Hey guys and welcome! Today we're going to be talking about some various myths there is about snakes. I'm really sorry I can't say myth correctly, but you guys know what I mean. We're going to be talking about some uh, incorrect information there is out there on the whole World Wide Web about snakes. Today for you I have gathered eight different myths that I hear a lot and I often get questions about as well. So let's just jump right into it. The first myth I'm going to have to call it something else than myth, so it's gonna be like a statement. All right, so we're gonna go true or false on this statement. The first statement is that ball pythons don't climb. Of course, that statement is false. Ball pythons, they do climb if they are in an environment that will allow them to do so. If you're having them in a rack, of course, they're not being able to climb, but if you are having them in a terrarium where you're providing them with branches and stuff like that, you will actively see them climb. I even uh, did like a thread on on my Facebook page where I asked people to post pictures of their bull pythons climbing and as you may have been able to see on that one it's not a unique incident like bull pythons they will climb and they actively do so. Number two, snakes, they will actively measure to see if they can eat you. Now that is a story that I've heard a lot of times and it's actually one of the most common questions that I am asked by people who don't know much about snakes. And it's also a story that's been around the internet for ages. I mean, who hasn't heard of the woman who has a pet snake and then the snake suddenly won't eat and it's just lying quiet next to her, you know, all fully stretched and she goes to the vet and the vet is all like, oh, you have to put it back in the cage. It's measuring to see if it can eat you. It's a very well-known story, but fortunately for us, it is completely false. Snakes, they don't lie quietly. They don't creep up next to you and then measure to see if they can eat you. If that was how they would hunt, they would never ever get to eat in the wild because what bunny or what rat or what bird would lay quietly enough for long enough for the snake to just finally go next to it, measure to see if it can eat you and then decide if it wants to eat it or not. Most snakes are opportunistic feeders, which means that they, once they come across a prey, they will attack and they will eat it. So no, snakes, they do not measure to see if they can eat you. That story is completely false. Number three, snakes, they dislocate their jaw to being able to eat. However cool that sounds, it is not completely true. Snakes, they don't dislocate their jaw, but their jaws, they do split into two separates called mandibles, I believe. So it's more a question about uh, flexibility than an actual dislocation. However cool that might sound, it is actually false. Number four, snakes are completely deaf. I know that you're not able to see fully formed ear on a snake and that could be somewhat of a weird sight. I don't even know how that was going to look. If someone is really good at drawing, could you please draw that for me? Just draw some snakes with ears, that would be amazing. But back on track here. So no, snakes are not able to hear the same way that you and I are, but they are able to pick up vibrations which can be perceived as sound, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Number five, snakes, they will actively chase you down. Now that sounds like someone who has a fear of snakes worst nightmare. And fortunately, it's not true. Most snakes, they will try to escape as their first option. If you meet them in the wild and you accidentally startle them, they will try to escape uh, as their first option most of the time. However, uh, they may be uh, confused as to where to go and then they will escape in the direction that you're standing. And that can of course be perceived as them chasing you. Of course, if you do take the snake uh, by surprise and it doesn't uh, flee as the first option, it might even try to lash back at you. And that can also be seen as the snake trying to, uh, to follow you or to actively chase you. Although I do have to say, when I did my research for this video, I was absolutely sure that no snake would choose to chase you as their first option. But then I came across this species of snake that's called the Central American Bush Viper, which apparently is a snake that will actively chase you. So if you are in an area where this Central American Bushmaster is, I would advise you to tread very, very carefully. Number six, snakes are slimy. 
Now, when I get people up here in my reptile room or when I'm somewhere with my snakes and they get to hold them or to touch them for the first time, nine out of ten times people say, hey, they're not slimy, they're actually quite warm and soft. And it is a very common misconception that snakes are slimy. I'm not sure where this thing comes from. Maybe people are thinking of snails or of eels uh, with them being quite slimy and they automatically think that because of the way that the snake moves or slithers or however you want to say it, that they have to be slimy. But no snakes, they are not slimy, they're actually quite soft, they're, they're very very nice to touch, it feels a little bit like, uh, like really good leather and they're actually quite warm. Number seven, snakes don't have any eyelids. Now that is kind of false. They don't have eyelids like you and I where we can blink and you can clearly see them, but they do have this thin layer of scales to protect their eyes. So they don't have fully formed eyelids like you and I, but they do have some sort of eyelids. Their eyes are not exposed. They do have this uh, protection layer, which you can also see if the snake is shedding, uh, if it's shedding properly, you will uh, be able to see the thin layer across the eye as well. And that is kind of cool. Number eight, if you feed your snake inside your terrarium, it would become cage aggressive. Now that is a big question that a lot of people have been debating for a long time. I've actually done a, a full video on it, you can see it right down in the description of the video. I'm just gonna go quickly over it right here. I don't believe that your snake will become cage aggressive if you feed inside the cage. I don't believe that because none of my snakes has been cage aggressive and I feed inside the terrarium all the time. Mainly also because that when you open your terrarium you don't only feed, hopefully. You will also open it to change the water which should be done every day. You will also open it to handle the snake and you will open it to change the substance and all that kind of stuff. So for the snake to become cage aggressive, if you were to actively work on getting the snakes to become uh, cage aggressive, you would only have to open the cage when you're giving food. You shouldn't really have any trouble uh, feeding your snake inside the terrarium if you also do these other things regularly, which I hope you do. Of course, I cannot talk about every species of snake. I'm pretty sure some are more defensive aggressive than others. But here I'm talking about bull pythons and corn snakes. With those snakes, you shouldn't have any trouble with them getting cage aggressive. guys that's all for today i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like it does really does help me and my animals out a lot and if you want to see more you're welcome to subscribe i really hope you did enjoy this and if you have any more uh, myth myths that you would like to share please post them down in the comment section as usual i will do a second part if i gather enough of them thank you guys so much for now and bye bye